How many hours of sleep do you get on an average weeknight? If your answer is less than seven, then I want you to take notice and pay attention to what I have to say. We all know that we need seven to nine hours of sleep each night for good health and well-being. The science is very clear. Sleep deprivation affects our mood, our memory, our learning. It predisposes us to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease and it increases our risk for diabetes and cancer, heart attacks and strokes. What is less clear is the mechanism by which all of this is happening. But a recent study from the University of Boulder in Colorado helped to shed some light. Uh, they compared two groups of healthy people. One group slept for seven to nine hours each night, the other group slept for less than seven. And what they found was that in the sleep deprived group, they had 40 to 60% lower levels of three kinds of gene regulating molecules called microRNAs. And these microRNAs are very important when it comes to regulating the amount of inflammation in our cells, which is the starting point for a lot of those diseases that we talked about. Uh, having lower levels of these microRNAs also means that our blood vessels are um, rigid, less flexible, and our blood is stickier and more prone to clotting, which means that we are at increased risk for heart attacks and strokes. So my encouragement to you this week is to see if you can start adding 5, 10, 15 minutes of extra sleep each night till you reach your target of between 7 to 9 hours. I'm Pranipal and this is the Science of Wellbeing at Work.